So, hey. A lot of people have already made videos about their favorite add-ons in Blender. However, I feel like some super cool add-ons that I use regularly haven't got enough love and attention. So I'll just very quickly show you how and why you should use these three awesome pieces of code in your Blender projects. Gaffer by Greg Sal. So you can find the add-on in the toolbox under world settings. Here you can enable the, the HDRIs and quickly switch between all the HDRIs you have on your hard drive. You can also use the randomize button to try out some different random results. So when you've found an HDRI that you like, you can start tweaking the rotation and the brightness and contrast. And you can very easily change the entire look of the HDRI. You can also play around with the color settings to change the tint and the warmth of your image. In the left tune panel, you'll find a light source manager. In this manager, Gaffer will keep track of all your light sources, including the HDRI. In the manager, you can very quickly rename and change the intensity and the color of all your light sources. Another great feature is you can actually hide all other lamps than one specific one. So you can preview each lamp individually so you can see how each light source affects the lighting. Loop Tools by Crouch. The Loop Tools add-on is a very powerful package of modeling tools made to speed up your workflow. The Circle Tool is a tool that I use a lot when I want to make circular holes in a non-flat hard surface model. You can also use the built-in to Sphere tool, which you can find in Blender, but I don't think that one produces as good results. Another quite cool feature is the G-Stretch. This button allows you to draw a line or an edge in 3D space with the grease pencil, and then it pulls selected vertices onto that line. One last thing I want to show you is the Space button. I don't use this one as much as I probably should, but it's pretty cool. As you can see, it distributes the vertices evenly along a loop and it gets rid of bad looking topology. Stencil Kit Pro. Stencil Kit Pro is a package of nodes and textures that can be used to create realistic, scalable textures in Blender. The nodes make use of the pointiness attribute in Blender and with easy to use controls, it allows you to create tear and wear effects on your materials. The add-on includes 100 tileable textures you can use to generate scratches, rust, dirt, bumps, cracks, and other surface imperfections. Sadly, the textures are only in 1K resolution, so you'll sometimes end up with visible tiling and low-quality texturing. With the included tiler node, you don't have to worry about UV mapping, and it makes it super easy to scale the textures. In short, Stencil Kit Pro is like Substance Designer, but for Blender. And it's less expensive. So, that was it for this quick video. I hope you found it useful. The model used in this video was slit and textured using Gaffer and Stencil Kit Pro. If you want to check out the sculpt, then you can download the STL for free. I'll put a link in the description. Anyways, as you might have noticed, I haven't uploaded anything for almost two months now. The reason for it is that I've got a job in Germany and I've been very busy moving and getting into the new job. I hope I'll be able to upload stuff more regularly in the future. Also, I've been working on an animated short for some time, and I'm so excited about finally showing it to you soon. Until then, stay happy and keep blending. See you next time.